Right, so as a lot of you, well actually I don't know how many of my YouTube followers follow me on other platforms, but I'm sponsored by Strong Sports Nutrition. So this is both a plug, but more importantly, what I use. And as I literally got a monthly order through this morning, I thought it was a good time to, uh, to cover this topic because I do get asked about supplements. Obviously, I don't expect everyone to take quite as much as I do. The benefits of being sponsored by a company like Strom who cover not only you know, your bodybuilding stuff, like your whey protein, stuff like that, but their base is health and I suppose longevity within bodybuilding. So they do a lot of health related supplements, which I personally have benefited from a lot over the past five years. Before I was sponsored, I used them. Um, but since I've been sponsored, their range has only grown. And unfortunately for Rick, that just means I order more and I need more because he makes fucking great products. So I'm gonna go through everything here in kind of super quick so I'm not boring you guys too much. I haven't really laid out in any particular order. So we will just go left to right. Yep, got it right. Um, there, so Systole Max every month. This is a blood pressure regulation supplement. So if, well, if, you're, if you take PEDs, blood pressure probably will be higher. Um, even if you don't and you, you find you have blood, high blood pressure, my girlfriend actually uses this because her blood pressure tends to run higher than it should. Um, it's a really good supplement, completely natural and just helps yeah, maintain a more healthy blood pressure, which if you're wondering why that's good, obviously, you know, the kind of heart health, but also kidney health, having high blood pressure for a long period of time can impact the kidneys. They are one organ we don't really want to fuck with because they do not repair. Um, we have Lipid Max, another fantastic health supplement. Um, cholesterol. So this helps manage cholesterol and heart health. What I will say is this is a really easy one to actually look at blood work and see how it's worked. Since I started using this, my cholesterol is actually the best it's been probably in like eight years. Now, given I am as heavy as I am and as far along my PED journey as I am, that's saying something. Um, now, I'm not going to just place it down to this. I am very meticulous with my diet, particularly like my fat choices. Um, I think if you, I found for me, if I have a lesser, higher quality of fats, my cholesterol suffers. So a lot of my fats are like um, oils, olive oil, walnut oil, and then obviously what I get through my meats, my steak, my chicken, uh, my steak, my salmon, my eggs, etc. Then we will, I'll try and keep on the health stops actually. So this is number one. If you want to take one thing away from here and you take PDs, support Max OCS. This is their original kind of, I suppose, landmark supplement. To my clients, I describe this as a bodybuilder's multivitamin. It's going to help with liver health. It's going to manage cholesterol. It's going to help manage, um, God, I've had an absolute mind fart. Everything. Um, it's fantastic. Very conclusive panel. Before I came across this, I used to have about eight different pills that I would take and they're all in here in a serving. So that is and should be everyone's staple as a starting point and then obviously manage your blood work and add in what you may or may not need based off of those results. Then we have, so I've got P5P. This helps manage prolactin on the current PDs I take. It makes sense to have this in. Um, so if you're someone who suffers with high prolactin, P5P is a very good first route before going to the more kind of pharmaceutical grade uh, supplements that may, that will definitely have an impact, but will probably crash your prolactin. So prolactin management, P5P. Flaxseed oil, again, that just backs up my cholesterol. I'm big on cholesterol just because I wanna, you know, come out of this sport in the best way possible. Um, glutathione max, this is a top up on top of the support max for liver health. Glutathione is a fantastic product to manage liver health. So that is great. Then we have, I've got ashwagandha here. Ashwagandha is a cortisol management supplement. Um, so I'll take this before bed and sometimes after training if I'm feeling particularly like stressed from the session. Ba, ba, ba. Then support max joint. Anyone with cranky joints, this will help massively manage that inflammation. Um, since starting taking it, I haven't had any touch wood, knee or elbow issues. Um, I have had to have some treatment outside of just taking this for my elbows at one point, but knees, which were particularly bad before, have touch wood, been absolutely brilliant. So I highly recommend that if joints is something that you need to worry about. So that pretty much covers, oh, not quite, the health stuff. Digest Max, 
otherwise known as Poop Max. Um, fiber, probiotic, on, it, to be fair, it doesn't matter the, the phase you're in. On an off season, it's great because it manages kind of internal gut health. On a prep, it's great because it helps with the additional fiber to be consistent and regular with your bowel movements. Um, and the last thing you want is not to shit and just to build up and kind of toxicity within the body. So then we come on to the, I suppose, bodybuilding subs. So I have two tubs of VelociWay. So that's their whey protein um, with Velocitol in, which helps. Oh God, ask Rick, it's a bit of a technical one. I never quite got my head around it. But main thing about this is it sits really well on me and it tastes banging. I have white chocolate caramel and chocolate sponge. And I'll have that pre-workout and that on my post-workout meal. Then pre-workout of choice for me, StimuMax Pro, caffeine based, stimulant based. I'm a low caffeine intake user, like I only have one coffee a day. So having this pre-session, I notice and it really keeps me going throughout the duration of my sessions. Then intra-workout, I have Essential Max, which is an EAA. So if you don't know the benefits of EAAs, just in terms of sort of helping with regards to muscle repair, that's there. And then Carb Max, which is, as it says, a carb powder. Um, so intra-workout, I have that pretty much year round and obviously the volume of Carb Max kind of goes up and down depending on the phase currently. I'm using quite a lot of it, 90 grams a, a session. Then, just got that. Finally, Meal Max. This is a more, is this the most recent release? I think it might be. Um, as it says, a meal replacement supplement. Never been a big believer in these. Um, and to be honest, I don't use it as a meal replacement. I use it as a meal top up. So I have 100 grams of this with my morning meal because it is high quality protein, high quality carbs, very easy on the stomach and allows me to get more fuel in at the beginning of the day without eating loads. Because if I'm, my appetite to ever as its poorest, it's probably in that first meal. So I find that really useful. I also um, will sometimes have a full serving of this, which is a thousand calories. When, if I'm on a super busy day, so I'm at a bodybuilding show with clients, having that just to cover a meal, can bang it down in a minute. And uh, the amazing thing about this is if you've had a meal replacement uh, shake before, they're often really thick and gloopy. This is not, and I can't believe it because you'll fill a shaker up literally to the top with powder and you'll put your water in and it will still be pretty silky smooth. So yeah, it's, it's convenience based at the end of the day, but not, none of these are kind of essential unless you're a PD user, then I cannot stress the Max enough. Um, like I said, funnily enough, this isn't everything I take. They have such a great range. I do pretty much take everything within their, within their range, but this is the month's order. So I won't bore you anymore. There's some stuff over there, but we won't go through it. I'm getting dry mouth from talking so much, but there you go. A little insight into my supplements. And uh, yeah, very fortunate because literally all my bases are covered with strong. So thank you very much to them. And hopefully you guys got an insight. If you've got any further questions about other supplements or, you know, if I haven't covered anything in the detail you want, please just leave a comment below and I will type back to you. That's one thing I want to do better is get back to comments. I've been uh, very shit at that, so make me work for it. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Like, comment, subscribe.